much at. Um, don't mind the get up. Uh, I lost my bonnet. I had to make do with something. Uh, the important part of this video is obviously the food. Yes. No, it is not the food. Although, I can't wait to dig into that. I make a mean batch of ramen. Don't you ever get it twisted. We're currently waiting for the noodles, uh, not the noodles, the eggs to finish boiling so I can have what I call a homeless gourmet meal. There's gonna be like something there, you'll, you'll see it. Um, but it's currently storming outside. I'm home alone. And um, yeah, I decided it'd be cool to have another um, philosophy video, another philosophy video, another philosophy video. And uh, yeah, okay. Uh, are you ready my students or cadets? or scholars or whatever you want to be called. Today, we're going to get into determinism versus free will. Let's get into it. Okay, so first, we're going to start off with determinism. Now, some people may not know what determinism is. It is a rather it is a rather common theme in the philosophy world but it is a rather foreign topic when you bring it up to just you know your basic day-to-day -day activities and or basic day-to-day -day people and so i'm going to start off by explaining what determinism is like any good philosophy teacher so determinism in nigga terms is basically the idea that nothing you do is chosen by you. Need me to further elaborate? I feel like that pretty much already sums it up. No? Okay. Um, let's give a little more detail to context. Basically, let's take in this cup of ramen that I made earlier. <laughs> right? Let's take the cup of ramen that I made earlier. This is food. Food is a necessity. And in order for me to survive and live, I must eat food. Now, how does this tie into determinism? That's where I'm that's where I that's where I come in. Right? So essentially what's happening here is is that me making ramen or making ramen was never determined by me. It was never a conscious choice for me to make this ramen. It was an inevitability, inevitability. It, 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 it basically, it was predetermined for me to make this ramen. It was predetermined by a number of access a number of you know different functions and whatnot but this was never my choice right this was never me this was not my choice to make it was what was going to happen i was going to come into the kitchen look in the kitchen see that there was going to be nothing in the kitchen that i personally wanted to eat aside from this make this and then make this video and you may be thinking like, oh, well, that's crazy. No, you chose to do all of those things. Well, realistically, I might not have chosen to do all of these things. For starters, this little get up was already predetermined consciously by me hours ago. I planned on doing this hours ago. Okay, so that's already kind of the me now not actually choosing, getting to choose what he wants to do because I have this, because of this was already thought out by me in the past hours ago. And effectively that's what determination, determinism is. It's you determining or you determining what you're gonna do or future you is gonna do when that present time comes. 
right? And so the choice that you make in that present future isn't the isn't isn't a conscious choice. It was already predetermined. You're already gonna do it, right? And determinism is a cool and scary concept because you know we're human. I feel like I feel like that's all that needs to be said. But I am gonna get into the other half of the video. Um, the other half of the video is free, free will. <laughs> okay. And as we all, all, everyone understands this concept, free will. It is a human's almost instinctual need if not an instinctual need to have this concept, okay? For a human to exist presently, they have to have the concept of free will. Without that, you get psychopaths and murderers and sociopaths and every other path in the six paths. And for no one who doesn't know what free will is, you're either an idiot or you just live under a rock. Um, free will is the concept that we human beings have the free usage or free authority to choose whatever we would like to choose at any given moment, right? It is the idea that me making these noodles at this particular time for this particular amount of time was freely chosen by me. It was not predetermined to have happened. And it was without a doubt, me, consciously me, who decided to make this choice. And free will is kind of the concept that no human being physically can live on this planet without. Even your philosophy, your philosopher teacher. I'm um, extraneous, I'm gifted, talented, um, everything in the book. And even I, to a certain extent, need the idea that free will is evident. It is present, it is currently what I am doing. Wow, living in the same like function that everything I'm doing is already predetermined. So you have determinism and you have free will clashing their budding heads currently because there are two opposing factors. Those two oppose each other on every scale possible. And yet they both coexist in the same world, which is gonna be another video for another topic. We're gonna to be talking about paradoxes. Yay, class. Um, but basically this video is to highlight these two key features and then to give my opinion on these topics as you know as i talk about them as i bring them up but but uh it was still boiling um but here's my take on the subject i'm gonna go back to an old saying two things can be true at one time. And a lot of people have a very hard time coexisting with that ideology because typically what humans do is that us being social cre social creatures, we have this tendency to have to mingle with other people, whether it be romantically or platonically. Uh, whether it be for gain or for loss, we kind of have that necessity, that need to basically intermingle with other people. Now, us intermingling with other people comes at a cost. That cost being that in order for us to inter intermingle with others, in order for us to be social, we must also be antisocial. Now, how does that work? Professor Dunn, Professor Dunn, um, excuse me, actually, 
You cannot be social and antisocial at the same time. That doesn't make sense. You're either one or the other. Sit down. You're stupid. You're stupid. Sit in silence with that. You're retarded. You, in fact, can be social and antisocial at the same time. And the way that it works is that it's depending on your scenario or situation. Realistically, though, if I have to be completely honest, it doesn't depend on anything because it's going to happen. In order for you to be social, being social means that you're interacting with other people, other beings. You're interacting with them and you're communicating with them and you're receiving communication from them. That's what being social means. It means to interact with whatever's around that can that has consciousness or yeah, consciousness basically. Now, when you're being social with people and you become social with people that, you know, I have to flick my hair there, that have common interest in what you're interested in, here's how that goes. You become interested, they're interested in what you're interested in, and so you guys intermingle, intermingle, because it's, it, it was gonna happen, whether it be romantically or platonically, it was going to happen regardless. But, right, when you intermingle with those people and you're socially active with those people, guess what? You're gonna be in, you're gonna be, you're gonna, <laughs> You're not going to associate with people who are the exact opposite of what you are. Oh, my God. Oh, oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness, me. You, you rowdy little boy. I'm sorry. That's just the truth. If you're going to be socially active with a group of people, then you're not going to be socially active with the opposite group of people who oppose what you are opposed to. Yeah, so my thoughts, I believe that determinism and free will can coexist at the same time. Um, and even though they directly, uh, uh, even though they directly oppose each other on a fundamental level realistically it can be deemed as a paradox and so you can predetermine what you're going to do at any given moment and have free will for how, how, how about this how about this how about this for an example just thought of this on the spot Boom, boom, I am a paradox. I predetermined maybe a minute ago that I was gonna say something in that scenario. The scenario comes, I say nothing. That is the, that is the coexistence of determinism and free will. It is a paradox, but they do coexist. They both are there, they both are. They both, they're both, they're boy. And so that's what kind of I just wanted to talk about. My eggs should be done by now. Um, if you guys like the video, you know, watch the video, like the video, maybe subscribe to the video. Um, yes, and this is your Professor Dawn. I hope to see all of you next class. Peace.